Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Avenue or perhaps we're going to be playing Avenue because I don't know if you saw the Rado run through of Avenue but there is a specially prepared version of one of these sheets available online and I'll put the link for it in the description. You can, if you want to, print that out or you can open it up in paint or something and draw along with me because this game is all about having a pad representing a city we're going to be drawing lines on it to represent streets and we're trying to connect the grapes to the cities so if you like you can get that ready and play along with us because i'm about to be joined by rachel so we can have two different scores going on here first of all i'll just give you a quick rundown of the rules of the game so as i said in avenue we are trying to draw roads to connect these grapes to these cities and over the course of the game, these castles as well. In a round, we will first draw from this city deck and it will tell us which city we will be scoring at the end of the round. So in this case, we will be scoring A at the end of the round. So we'd write that there and say we are going to be looking for how many grapes are connected to A. To be connected, a line has to go through the square somehow. Then we would start dealing from this deck and we'd start off and we tell everyone number five and you can look at the little guide at the bottom of your sheets to see what a number five is but it's just a straight line through the square so you can decide to put this anywhere you can decide to start to put it in a since that's going to be scoring or just maybe you have a grander plan for later on we keep revealing these and everyone's going to draw something if you don't want to draw something, or if you would like some more information more than you'd like to draw that thing, you can forego drawing anything for this particular card and take a peek at what the next city card is so you have some advanced knowledge of what the next city to be scored is because we're going to score five of the six cities in a game. So you can kind of know what's coming next and you know modify your plan based on what's coming up. We keep drawing until we find four yellow cards. We go through everyone. How many grapes have you got connected to city A? We write it in there and then we keep going for five more cities. Every one of them drawing cards until we've reached four yellow cards. The catch is you are not just trying to connect as many grapes as possible to these cities. Say I had connected maybe these three grapes here to city A at the end of the first round. But for B, maybe I'd only managed to connect one. If your score for the second city is less than or, or the same as, you have to beat your score from the previous round for it to count. If you don't beat your score, you can see there, you, you write down zero. Not only that, but you're going to lose five points for every round that you did that in at the end of the game. So... You definitely want to plan out so that you can get bigger and better every round because if you don't, you're going to be scoring nothing for the round. The final thing is we have the red and the green cities there. At the end of the game, for every red grape that is connected to the red city, you're going to get a point. And for every green grape that's connected to the green city, you're going to get a point for that as well. So that is the game. Try and connect as many grapes as possible, but keeping in mind that you need to beat your previous round score every time. And at the end of the game, have them connected to the castles. Lose five points for every round you scored zero in. And if, if, you, decide, if you didn't manage to connect anything to your first city or you just couldn't do it, you're going to lose five points at the end of the game for that as well, even though you technically didn't score less than the previous round. We add it all up. That's your final score. Okay, and we're ready to start. Rachel's now here. Hello. She hasn't got a microphone, so she might not be very clear, but she is going to be playing along the exact same game. So we're all going to get the very same numbers, uh, but it's up to us where we put them in our city. So if, uh, if you want to play along, then we're going to just reveal the cards and say the numbers. You can write down on your sheet, however you've managed to get it. And then after we've drawn each one, we'll... We'll look away, and in case you wanted to look at the next city rather than draw the line, then we'll look away and show the camera what it is. So everyone that didn't draw a line can look. Everyone else, be honest, and look away with us. First card, then. Let's look at the city. We are first going to be scoring City E, so just over there. 
as many grapes as we can connect to that, but not too many because we need to beat that score at the end of the round. So the first card is a number four. So I need to decide where this is going. And I think I am going to put it right here and hope to connect these two grapes to my E-City later. Rach, what's she do? Oh, slightly over one, but she's got the same idea. And so if you didn't want to draw there, we'll look away. And that's the next city. Okay. And the second card is number one. Hmm. I could keep with the plan there and connect it like that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Although I'm, I'm kind of cutting myself off for later there. That might not be the best thing to do. Rachel, she's going up there with the, the green castle. And if you didn't think, we'll look away now. That's the next city. And card number three. It's five, so a straight line. Let's see, I don't want to put it there because that's going to connect too many to the city. I think I'm going to prepare for later and let's put it up here and hope to have a big line through all of these things. Okay, and if you didn't pick anything, we'll look away now. That's the next card. And we keep going, we've only found one yellow so far. That's a number six is the next one. So a straight line going down. I think, let's see, assuming we get a corner piece here, I'm going to go there. See, maybe I should get some information about what the next city is. Let's see how Rachel's going. Oh, she is going all over the place as well. And if you didn't take a, if you didn't draw a line, here's the next city. Okay. And second yellow. So two more of those and it will be the end of the round. But that's a number three. Hmm, I don't want to make a circle here. That wouldn't be very good. Let's, let's have this go off. Or maybe we, yeah, we could have this. I think that was the plan, wasn't it? Rachel, she started the line going from the castle there. That's a good idea. And look away now, unless you didn't draw something. That's the next city. Next card. It's a number one, and that's the third yellow. So be aware if you haven't connected anything to your E-City yet, that potentially the next card could be the last card. So I need to draw a number one somewhere. So where shall I put that? I think I'll put it in this corner here. Prepare for later. If you didn't draw anything, let's look away and you can see the city. There it was. And is this the last card? No, it's not a yellow. So that's a number four. Hmm. I would like to put that. Let's put that at the castle there. Maybe we can start connecting something to the castle. And if you didn't draw something, we'll look away. That's the city. And the next card, it's another number four and it's not yellow, so we keep going. A lot of corners here with without really knowing where anything else is going. Hmm, I think I will. Let's connect that there. Maybe we'll have something separate going along there. Let's take a look at Rachel, see what she's doing. She's building some things up there for the future. Okay, if you didn't draw something, you can look, we'll look away. That's the next city. And the next drawing is, it's a number six, but it's yellow. This is the last one. So if you can connect something to your E and you haven't done it yet, this is your last chance. I think I am going to keep going down with this. Just around the outside there. Okay then, so that is the end of the first round. We have drawn four yellow cards. So now we can count up our score. I, it's quite easy for me for City E, which I should have written there. I connected two grapes to it. I'm going to score two. And Rachel one. only managed to connect one. So we are in the lead right now, but I don't know what your scores are. So the next city, <laughs> I've, I've been saying it enough. So it's A. Some people have known that for a while. So that's not too bad for me because I have started this thing here, although that's a lot of grapes. Remember, I have to beat it. If I connect all this up and I've got five, six, seven, I have to beat that next, the round afterwards. So maybe not a great idea to connect all of that up, but let's see what happens. So it's City A, everybody write that there. That's the one we're gonna be scoring. And the first card is number five and it's a yellow. One of the four straight away. 
Hmm, should I do that? I think I will. Let's go this way. But that means we're definitely not going that way, right? Hmm, was that a good idea? And Rachel, she's got some squiggly lines going there. Okay, if you didn't draw something, we'll look away. That's the next city. And the next piece of road is another number five, another yellow. So I definitely can't connect those. Maybe, yeah, we'll connect that to the castle and then the castle's connected to something. It's the right color as well. It wants green grapes. So that's, that's something we've made there, but I do need to, oh no. I need to maybe connect this to something down here so that I've got more than two. Rachel's not taking anything so she doesn't have to look away. I'm looking away. This is the next city. Okay, next card. It's a number one, it's not yellow though. So there's gonna be at least two more cards. I think I... Let's see, I could tuck this down here and maybe hope to connect to that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So that would be five, wouldn't it? Rachel, she's writing something down. Oh, went blurry. She's going down to F there. And if you didn't draw anything, you can keep looking. I'm gonna look away. That's the next city. And the next road is number two. Okay, so that's not great for this plan here. And that's three yellows. I think I would like to connect this here because that would be okay for C later, wouldn't it? And uh, if you didn't draw anything, then you can look at this. That's the next city, the next road. Oh, it's a yellow and it's number five. Okay, that's not too bad because we can connect it to this. And I think this would be a little bit crazy. That would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have no lines going to the other cities. So let's just connect it to here so it will be five. So we can write the score right now. Number five. So I've beaten the previous round score, so I'm okay. I can keep those five points. It's not many, but it's okay. And let's look at what Rachel did. So she's got three connected to her A city, so she's safe. And we can move on to round three of five. So the city was E. No, F. Okay, so I have absolutely nothing going on down here. So I'm going to have to scramble to get more than five connected. Although there's four there. If I can link those up, that'd be nice. But we can see a lot of the fives have already come out. So that might not be an option because... I don't know if I mentioned, we, we don't shuffle these back in. They are gone now from the game. We keep going with what's left in the deck. So, the first road for round three is two. And I think I'm definitely going to put it here. And if worse comes to worse, hopefully I can connect it to some of these. But ideally, a five will come along if they haven't all gone. Okay, I'm going to look away. If you didn't draw something, you can look at the next city. There it is. And the next road is number four. And I am going to put, yeah, so I think I'm going to do this. So at least I'm starting to connect it to something. And I'm going to look away. If you didn't draw, you can see the city. There we go. Next road, number one. That's not good for me, is it? Is it rubbish? <laughs> hmm. I could do this and hope to get another corner there, although that's kind of hoping for a lot. Yeah, let's put it there. And then if we do go straight across, at least we're going to three there. It might work out. If you didn't draw something, then you can keep looking and see the city. Next card, it's a number one again. And this time it's yellow. I didn't want that. Okay, I think I am not going to draw anything, and I'm going to take a look at the city in a minute. I'm not drawing. Oh, neither of us are drawing. We're both going to look at the city together. Okay, the next road. Number five. Oh, yes. I need a number. I am safe now. There we go. One. Number five, right there. So now I've got six linked up to F, so it's not looking good overall. But this round, at least, I'm, I'm okay. Hopefully we can kind of snake this around here because one of these isn't gonna score. 
B, B, D or C. It would be a shame if C didn't score because that's quite nicely set up. Okay, if you didn't draw, then you can look at this. I'm going to look away. Okay, and the next road is number three. Is that good? Yes, because number three can connect this up. And that's two more. Do I want two more? Yeah. Could it be better served anywhere else? I don't think so. Let's connect it up here. There we go. We've got a nice little line here. We do need to get this castle linked up or we'll be skipping a lot of good points. I'm going to look away if you want to see the next city. Keep looking. Okay. And the next road. It's a yellow. That's three of the four yellows. It's number four. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it there. Maybe that'll just be off on its own, not doing anything, but there we go. I'm going to look away if you need to know the city. Here it is. And potentially the last road. No, it's not yellow. Number three. I think I really needed that. We could put it here and hope to... But I don't think a lot of uh, sixes have come out, have they? Unless we've missed them. I could have this going down here and hopefully link, but how am I going to link all of this up? Oh, I think let's have it going here. But that means only a five is going to link this up and they may have all gone. That could have been really stupid. Okay, let's take a quick look at what Rachel's doing. That's her city there. And this is the next city. Okay, the next road, and this is the last one, another number three. Do not need more number threes right now. I think I'm going to put it here. Or I could put it here. Yeah. And then maybe that can connect back to B later. And maybe, so we could have... Maybe this line going, connecting here. There's something going all the way down here so that it's connected to the red castle. That would be ideal, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, so if you didn't draw anything, you can look at the city, but it's kind of pointless doing it in the last round. There we go. And we can score round three. So F, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things connected to F. And Rach got eight as well. And it's round four. So if you didn't look, you get to know that it is C that we're scoring next. So I'm going to write that there. Oh, I desperately want to get that connected because it does count through cities as well. I don't know if I mentioned that. It counts all the way through. So the first card of round four is a number six. I think I am going to connect that there. Okay. And if you didn't draw anything, if I can get Marty out of the way, you can take a look at the next city. I'm going to look away. That's the next one. And the next road is a number two. Surely that's useful to me somehow. Yes, it's useful here, but not really for city C. I need fives. I think they've all gone. Maybe I should just skip connecting E and hope to connect to this city here. But that doesn't really help with that piece. I don't know what I'm talking about there. Let's connect that with that piece. Or maybe I should have done B. It's too late now. I've drawn it. See how Rachel is doing. There we go. If you didn't draw anything, I'm going to look away. You can see the next city. Okay, next road. It's a number six and it's yellow. So we've got two yellows now. And here I could just cut city D off, but it's either B or D. I don't know. I think although it's a waste of a six, I want to know what's going on before I cut anything off. So I'm going to look, look away if you drew something. Ooh. Okay, so those, those that did look, 
know what the very last city is. Next road, it's another number six. I think I'm going to put it here because depending on the bend that comes out, I could potentially just cut all this off and maybe connect it up to these reds up here. So at least I'll get something at the end. Rachel, see she's getting all, all her lines connected now. If you didn't draw anything, you can keep looking. I'm going to look away. Oh, I know it though. So there's not really much point in me looking away. Next road, number two. So it's this city next. I don't know if there's any fives even left. Yeah, I think, although there might not be any sixes left. See, we're connected to four, five, six, seven, eight now. Oh no, that's not even the right, oh dear. That's just wishful thinking, hoping that it was a different thing. Okay, let's connect it here. And if, so we might have to do a bend or something here and just forget connecting all this up. Oh dear. Okay, if you didn't draw anything, you can keep looking. That's the city. And potentially the last card of this round, and it is the last card of this round, number one. And I don't think that can help me in any way. As to my C situation here. No, having this bend really messed me up. See, there's nothing here because that was an invalid thing. I could actually do this now, and then I'd have four, five, six, seven, eight, but that's not going to help me. Ha scoring eight isn't going to help me. So I think I'm just going to put it there and hope that I can connect some things to the castle and things. If I can join this mess up here, it'll be okay. Can I do it? Rachel, oh, she got 10. So I think I have kind of knocked myself out of this race because I scored four, five, six. I could have got eight, but scoring the same isn't good enough. You need to beat your score. Okay then, so final round. And if you looked like me, you know that it's D is the last city. So abandon any plans for city B and let's go for the first road. It's a five. So now I have a decision. Do I want to connect this up? I probably do, although I only need to beat zero, but this would kind of help me and I can probably get a bend here or do I want to connect this up and then that's some guaranteed red berries for the castle I think let's connect this up with the five there we go if you didn't draw anything you can keep looking I'm gonna no. oh no oh yeah this is the last round oh you can do it if you want to <laughs> there you go. it's B the only <laughs> city we haven't surprise. drawn it's weird to get out of the habit of doing that the next road it is number four It's not the bend I need there, but I think yes, this the one I crossed off, I now get to place it. So it's not crossed off anymore. Let's have a look at how Rachel's is going. It's all connecting up now. Trying. Number three. Oh, I do need that. That's very nice. So number three there, I've managed to connect this kind of windy thing up at last. At the very last hour, we have a six. So I'm going to connect that there, and if a bend came out to connect that off, that would be very nice. Or maybe one more five for there. We've only got one yellow, we can keep going. It's a number three. I don't think that helps me out too much. Unless I want to give up on connecting this to this and maybe start it snaking down, because that would make D connect to more grapes. Do I want to do that? but then I'm giving off hope of connecting this whole big thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this in a random place and hope, just hope for that five, pinning all of my fortune on fives. It's a two. See, now I could place this whole thing and make it one huge city. Is that good? Is that worth disconnecting the red castle completely and scoring nothing for it? I don't want to cut off that castle. I'm going to put it here, and then if I do get the chance to turn this off again, I'm going to do it. 
Okay, next one. It's a yellow. It's a number one. So now, yeah, I think I'm going to connect this up here. So at least the red castle's connected to something and could be connected to a lot more if I can get a five, if there are even any in the deck. Okay, we've got three yellows out. This could be the last card. Oh. It is the last card and it's a number four. So since this isn't connected to anything anyway, I'm just going to connect that up so that at least the red castle's connected to one more grape. Okay, my D is now connected to one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So it kind of joined up in the end. It might be a, a bit too late, especially scoring minus five for that round. Okay, now we can do the red castle is connected to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red grapes. Not great. But the green castle has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so my score is 57. I did score nothing one round, so that's minus five. So that is 52. And if we look over at Rachel's, wow, she managed 15 in the last round. Got seven on the castles. I needed a, I needed a straight line. And got 51. She desperately needed another six but didn't get it. Should have connected a lot of stuff up there. And were there even any... See, there was a five there. That would have been perfect to connect that up or to connect that up. Just didn't come out in time. And the last next one was a six, which would have definitely given Rachel the win. So the shuffle just giving me the win by the point there. But if you played along with us, post what your score was and we'll see who the real winner is. But be honest, we all looked away. Okay, that was Avenue. And I hope that gave you a good idea of how Avenue plays. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye. Bye.